Sleek and streamlined, sharks are the apex predators of the ocean deep. Humans have been afraid of sharks for many thousands of years. Thanks to movies like Jaws and Deep Blue Sea, that fear has become justified in the collective conscious. Reality is very different than these movie fantasies, however. Overall, humans have little to fear from sharks. The ones who should be scared? The sharks. Approximately 100 million sharks are killed annually. Researchers say that this is a conservative estimate, and that the true number could be as high as 273 million sharks killed annually by humans. While many sharks are killed accidentally, caught in traps meant for other aquatic animals, most sharks are killed only for their fins to be used in shark fin soup, once a delicacy favored by Chinese emperors. The popularity of the soup has grown with a continued increase of China's population. This dish isn't only served in China either. You can find it in restaurants across the United States with bowls costing up to $100. That may seem steep, but could also be quite a bargain. According to an unprecedented scientific analysis by Stony Brook University, the Field Museum in Chicago, and with support from the Pew Environment Group, the shark fin soup served in 14 U.S. cities contains at-risk species. Since not just one species of shark can be used for the dish, many shark species are at risk because of this trade. As if this weren't frivolous enough, after the shark's fin has been removed, the still living and now fatally mutilated body is thrown back into the ocean. According to the Smithsonian Ocean Portal, many fishermen prefer to practice shark finning instead of bringing whole sharks to the market. This is because the fins, representing only around one-fifth the total weight of a shark, are far more valuable than the rest of the body, sometimes selling for as much as $500 a pound. Death is not swift for these disfigured creatures. No longer able to swim properly, they drown or die of blood loss. There are many ways that you can help to save our shark populations. You can contact your representatives and let them know that you want to support Representative Ed Royce's Shark Fin Sales Elimination Act. This bill would prohibit the buying, selling, and possession of shark fins throughout the United States. It's a measure that Royce hopes will have an effect on the global state of shark finning. Another way that you can help is to do some research into the products you purchase, as shark appears in a surprising number of things. This is a means of voting with your wallet, sending the message that you will not support those companies which make a profit from the slaughter of sharks. Finally, you can donate to shark conservation efforts through agencies like the World Wildlife Fund or the Shark Research Institute, which provide options to adopt a great white shark or a whale shark, respectively. Through movies and playing up the danger of shark attacks in news reports, the media likes to promote the image of sharks as a terrible threat to humans, feeding a lack of empathy for their safety and well-being. However, shark attacks are incredibly rare. The truth is, you're more likely to be killed by a vending machine or be injured by a toilet than suffer from the jaws of a shark. So, do your part, so that we can have a little more of this, and a lot less of this.